So right now I'm about to take y'all through a little TikTok journey of after I found out about my heat damage. All of these videos that you're about to see, including this one, was right in the moment of when I realized I had heat damage and throughout this month of dealing with it. So y'all just watch these. So it's been a couple hours of seeing it like this and I'm really still like, wow the fuck it's really damaged but you know what i haven't cried about it and i'm not gonna cry about it yet until i've tried everything and if it doesn't work then i might cry but i'm going in with this y'all know what this is and if this doesn't work i don't know what will but i'm gonna mix it with this this they go good together and we're just gonna see we're gonna see hopefully it revives this let's go I'm also gonna put some mayonnaise in this mask because mayonnaise I've heard is really good for reviving the hair. So I got the clay, the apple cider vinegar, and I also put some oil in there that has like some peppermint oil and some rosemary mint to stimulate it, get something going. All right, it's all in there now. I'm just gonna mix it up. Hopefully this does something. And now I'm going to apply it to this first front section. Y'all wish me luck. I let the mask sit in my hair for like 30 minutes. Y'all wish me luck. <laughs> All right, y'all. So it's the next day. I did my hair again. And yep, these curls still aren't curly. This is the main damaged piece that I have, you guys. Look at that. I haven't cried yet because I just, I don't know. I just feel like I did it. It was my fault. I fucked up. Like, I, and there's just no going back from it. You know, all I can do is do my best to revive my hair. Whatever I can possibly do, I'm gonna do that. So if y'all have any other recommendations, please let me know. All right, y'all, so it has been three days now since y'all last saw me, and y'all see my hair. It looks fine, y'all. Let, let me tell you something. 90% of it, y'all saw, is all good. It's up here, that's the problem. But I was actually able to camouflage it. So, okay, so I put it up, and I tucked away all of the straight pieces so it's kind of camouflaged right now you feel me you can't really see it which is good um shoot i might unfortunately even though it's a cute style like can you imagine wearing your hair in the same style almost every day this might have to be my my all the time thing wearing it in this style until i can figure out you know what else to do the straight pieces are still there um, as y'all saw, I definitely added in here how I did my first protein mask. Everyone was commenting, do a protein mask, do a protein mask on my TikTok. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok because that's definitely going to be where I'm mainly showing y'all and updating y'all on this whole situation. But, okay, I wanted to let that down so that y'all could see. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. And by the grace and the hope of God, I will be able to revive this in some shape, way, or form. I definitely want to let y'all know the particular products that I was recommended. Now, the number one brand and product that I was recommended, everybody kept saying, try Olaplex, try Olaplex. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This product right here, all right, I actually saw it in the store. The day after I washed my hair when I was going looking for stuff. I saw it and it was $30 and I was just like, ooh girl, $30 for this little tiny bottle. How many ounces is that? I, I can't forget, but it was like this much, okay? That much. Not a lot. I have not bought it yet. I do plan on buying it if what I bought now doesn't work. And I'm going to show you what I got. So in the past, I've heard a lot about the Affigy brand. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But I've never tried any of their products before. And so when I was looking up YouTube videos on how to revive heat damaged hair and products that help, I saw a lot of people also talking about Affigy. And one product in particular I saw, they mentioned this right here, the Affigy Curlific. This is from their Curlific line. All this stuff from the Curlific line has like yellow accent so like yellow lids and stuff that's how to um tell the difference because they have a lot of different stuff but this is the texture treatment as y'all can see all right i heard a lot of people saying to try this it's supposed to improve the elasticity repairs damaged curls coils and waves and i like to hear that because they they say and everything that matches up with me you know what i'm saying i have damaged coils hopefully it's supposed to 
bring back the elasticity for those of you who might not know what elasticity means elasticity just means the spring in your curls okay y'all see this has no spring all of the curl the curl pattern is just gone okay so i'm just hoping and praying that this does something for me if this doesn't work like how i need it to i definitely will be investing in the olaplex product i'm gonna suck up that 30 dollars for that little ass product okay i don't mind paying 30 dollars for something if it's gonna revive my curls but it's just like dang can i get a little bigger no no okay i'm gonna suck it up but when i tell y'all i'm just so sad about this heat damage and i'm willing to try anything and i want to try these products as soon as possible and i want to also mention you guys that typically you don't use a product just one time and boom it just works and your curls are back like it takes multiple uses it takes time and i'm understanding of that fact and i'm willing to wait because realistically i did it to myself you know even though it was not something that i purposefully did or wanted definitely didn't want this because shoot this is what we were running from in the first place and why i cut all my hair off but i don't know by the grace of god i've just been able to keep it together so far i haven't cried still which is very shocking because i don't understand gabrielle a year or two ago i would have thrown a whole tantrum about it i would have cried my eyes out but it's just something about it where it's just like i just feel like there's so many other things that i could be stressed about right now it is a setback for me but i'm trying not to look at it as a major setback we're moving forward and i hope that y'all can just use me as a learning experience and be a part of my journey not only with me growing out my hair but now also how i'm able to hopefully revive my curls from heat damage this is something that's common it happens a lot and yeah that's my update for now though i'm gonna go try out this hair mask so i saw this comment and i felt it very necessary to let y'all know that there is nothing wrong with putting heat on your hair straightening your hair one time is not going to be the end of the world it shouldn't it typically doesn't damage it me personally i messed up my hair you guys and i told you i will make a video displaying exactly what i did to mess it up i did it okay but i just want y'all to know that just because you know if you want to straighten your hair one time there's nothing wrong with that just make sure you're taking the necessary precautions go to a professional to get it done i did too my professional she did great i messed my hair up okay you guys and i'll explain to y'all what i did like i said but don't be scared okay don't don't be scared i just felt the need to say that <laughs> i look a mess right now don't y'all say nothing about that but everyone keeps asking me about you know how it was that i exactly damaged my hair what is it that i did because i told y'all i did it unfortunately because a lot of people coming in my comments talking about some oh see this is why i don't trust heat this is why i always go to professional i did go to a professional i did go initially um but i touched it up myself i messed it up i messed my hair up i keep saying that so enough rambling i'm just gonna show you all the tragedy and what i did so this was a few days after getting my hair initially straightened professionally and then my edges were getting poofy my roots were getting a little poofy so i decided oh i'm gonna whip out the good old hot comb all right y'all know about that hot comb if y'all know about an easter sunday at your grandma's house or your mama's house you know what a hot comb is i whipped it on out and i went to town on the front of my hair i didn't think i was doing that much but apparently i was what's up y'all so it has been a little over a week now it's been almost two weeks now of me dealing with this whole heat damage situation and some of y'all are probably looking at me right now like gabrielle what are you talking about because i don't see it it looks gone well not necessarily um as you know and as you saw it was these front pieces and y'all can see the texture of my hair the curl pattern is different it's a lot looser than my natural coils okay this is my natural texture it's a lot more coily but this isn't my curls revived y'all okay to be honest with you the curls really haven't bounced back in the front like that what i did to help me out was i put some perm rods in the front and all of the little pieces that were pretty much straight and damaged i just put perm rods on them to help give me the curl and for those of y'all who are gonna wonder and ask i know that you will i use these perm rods here specifically these are the salmon colored perm rods okay just so y'all know i might go a size down because of course i want to use smaller ones because my natural curl pattern is pretty tiny like i don't have like big old you know loopy curls like that well i mean they're 
they're, they're loopy they're real coily it's real spirally but they're not super loose basically so obviously the smaller rods that i use will better help to blend in with the rest of my hair i might go down a size i also just wanted to update y'all and say oh hey y'all new look but i just wanted to say that i have come to the conclusion that it was fully my fault i mean obviously it was my fault i mean there's really no conclusion on that but as y'all saw within that legit reaction firsthand of me witnessing and seeing my heat damage for the first time and like whoa what just happened i, w I was really confused at, at the whole situation i really was that was no lie i was upset i was confused like what how did this happen but after it's been almost a month now it's currently almost the end of april and i was going through that transition of going back to natural after my straightened hair that was march 30th so it's been almost a month now of my hair being damaged and me completely just coming to terms with it trust me y'all i'm i'm not fine with it but i've come to terms with it it is what it is and i completely understand now that it was my fault even though it was such an innocent thing because mind y'all i mean it when i say this I did not know that what I was doing was going to cause me damage like that. I was just thinking, well, this is how I've always, you know, this was how I did my hair back in the day when, before I big chopped it. And I never would have contributed what I was doing to causing it more damage because my hair was already in that straight state anyway, which is why I big chop. So I was just so used to being able to kind of just do whatever I wanted to while my hair was straightened, whether it was retouch it a few days because my edges seriously get kinky. If my edges did not get so kinky after a few days, that wouldn't have been an issue. But granted, I know people are gonna be in the comments saying, well, oh, that's your natural texture. What do you think? I know that. I'm just saying like, hey, that, that was my thought process and why I would go through and retouch my hair because can be having kinky edges and the straight hair is just, it, it's not a match. I was like, we gonna do this straight look for a week, we gonna do it right, okay? It all has to look equivalent, basically. But yeah, I mean, I just went a little overboard with it. But mind y'all, I promise you, every night I was wrapping my hair. I was doing these little pin curls to maintain it. Trust me y'all, I know ways to maintain straight hair without going through and putting heat on it every day. The things that I was trying to um, fix were things that I personally can't control, like me sweating or whatever, because I'm a sweater. That's also why my edges were getting kinky. I just wanted to let y'all know that it was my fault and that I also wanted to convey, because I saw a lot of people within my TikTok comments and in my Instagram comments saying that, oh, you see, this is why I'm scared to put heat on my hair. Listen, I'm kind of scared to put heat on my hair at this point now. I wasn't before, and I don't want to be down the line, because I know for a fact I want to be able to straighten my hair again, because I think that it's really cute when you can. It's just a little switch, and look, there's nothing wrong with the cute little silk press. It doesn't mean that you don't like your natural hair, and it doesn't mean that you like the straight better it just means girl this is a new hairstyle just like when you get some braids well this little press to me is like a new hairstyle and i want to flaunt it i want to you know shake my hair around because it's nice and flowy right now and that's it period these are things that you have to think about when you consider getting a silk press you know how much heat that you're putting on it the degree of heat that was definitely something that i did not take into consideration i just felt like oh well I don't straighten my hair very often. This is the first time since my big chop. My hair is healthy now. Like doing it this one time, you know, when I say one time, I don't mean like I straightened it one time because obviously I went over it again. But within this period of having my hair straight was considered the first time, you know, in the one time in my mind. So I was thinking, oh, well, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'll be good. Wet my hair come that wash day and my hair was singing a different tune and it was completely different than what I expected but I've just learned to deal with it like I've said I've come to terms with it it is what it is because really I have nobody to be mad at but myself because I did it but I don't want to hold that on me for long I don't want to be mad at myself and I don't want y'all to be mad at me because if I'm not mad and upset and crying about it and being like oh why'd you do this 
y'all shouldn't be either trust me anyone watching this who's been following me or anyone new here where this is your first time seeing me hi my name is gabrielle i just hope that you would want to follow me within this journey because i mean hey at least most of my hair is still healthy i'm still able to pull off cute hairstyles like this because it's only in the front of my hair that's damaged of course so 95 percent of my hair is still healthy y'all at this point y'all i've wet my hair so many times i've you know gone throughout my natural state it's been a month now and the curls haven't come back so inevitably they're not so all i can do at this point is just you know grow this front part out and snip as i go grow snip grow snip yeah we'll just have to see so like i said make sure that you're following me on instagram and my tiktok that's where i mainly post so you can really keep up with me make sure that you're subscribed here as well this was my update for the most part y'all i've just been getting through it um it is what it is i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here now i just really wanted y'all to see me see my hair and how she's doing she's good if you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much for being a real one i appreciate those who are down for me i love y'all who love me y'all feel what i'm saying tell your mama about me tell your cousin about me tell your auntie your sister tell folks about me share this video with somebody especially if you know somebody who has gone through a heat damage experience like i have or is going through it currently girl definitely send her this because you're not the only one okay i'm here with you we're still learning and making mistakes when it comes to this whole natural hair thing it's all a learning process it's all a journey make sure that you tell your homegirls about me make sure that y'all subscribe to my channel and also also before i go i want to mention that not only should you be subscribing but i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers my goal is to get to a thousand youtube subscribers on this channel by august of this year so by august 2022 i'm hoping god willing that we'll be at a thousand subscribers so like i said before tell your folks about me okay get me there and if you're not subscribed make sure that you do that right now support a sister thank you for being a part of my shenanigans even though you know i know y'all love Make sure to comment something nice below, like the video, and God willing, I'll see y'all in the next one. Love you!